some WNBA stuff that we're going to talk about right now, Rob. And, of course, this past weekend, things got chippy uh, when Angel Reese of LSU fame, uh, now with the Chicago Sky and having a nice rookie year. she She's having a really good year. Uh, and Caitlin Clark, Rob, of the uh, Indiana Fever of Iowa, University of Iowa fame, and those two, of course, had a great rivalry in college. And it seems to be uh, going on into the pros. They're the two best rookies. And Caitlin Clark I, I, is, uh, I think, right now the leader uh, as far as rookie of the year. She's really, and she's picking it up, starting to play well, uh, even better. But when they met uh, recently, did you see it, Rob? Angel Reese had a what I'll call a hard foul on Caitlin Clark when she was trying to go. Clark was driving to the basket, and Reese was going for the block. And instead of getting the block, she hit Clark in the head, and it was given a flagrant one. My take on that, Rob, was that. I'm fine with them calling a flagrant one because it looked violent. Not that she did on purpose, but it looked bad. And, you know, this is a time where, you know, everybody's worried about concussions and rightly so. And so, you know, you take that into consideration. But I, I, by the letter of the law, which is any unnecessary conduct, contact, I didn't think it was unnecessary contact more than any other foul. She was going for the block. I thought she clearly was going for the block. She did wind up, Rob, but she was looking at the ball the whole time. Once Clark went into her shooting motion, Reese was looking at the ball. She wasn't looking at Clark, and I thought if she was if she was trying to hit her in the head, she'd have been looking at Clark, and um, she just you know didn't get the block. But I think after there's a little that, bit Reese, too because of what's happened with Clark too. So they're on the lookout for that. Do you well, know what I mean? Yeah, but I would think, I mean, they probably knew. Well, the one with the last time with Kennedy uh, Carter, that was clearly a flagrant foul. Unnecessary. This one I just thought was, you know, she was going for the um, the block. block, And, you know, it, it wasn't any more unnecessary conduct than any other foul, right? right? You're trying to stop the ball or get the ball or whatever, and you hit somebody. But anyway, uh, Angel Reese spoke afterwards, and here she goes, Robin. Then you can take it. For inside, I mean, I think we were playing really hard. Um, I think we went up really strong a lot of times, and we didn't get a lot of calls. And going back at looking at the film, I've seen a lot of calls that weren't made. I guess some people got a special whistle. So she's she said a special it sounds whistle, like an illusion. Yeah, illusion, and allude. She's alluding to Clark. Chris, but, uh, here, here's where I'm gonna go. And I get it. You know, uh, the WNBA really, Caitlin Clark, not the WNBA, Caitlin Clark moves the needle. We said this before this happened. She moves the needle, okay? Whatever it is, she moves the needle. But the WNBA, for real, is not going to grow if all we're talking about are the caddy kind of other stuff that's go. There's no basketball talk here, okay? There, There is none. It's the jealousy talk. It's if they're trying to hurt her. Uh, they don't, they're jealous of her. Like, it's a soap opera. There's no basketball talk at all. Nobody, nobody is looking at the games or dissecting the games or trying to figure out uh, the best teams and who's got the best strategy and how did they stop her. I haven't heard any of that. Now, you tell me, Chris, if you have. Because well, I, haven't, I haven't heard any of that stuff. The only things I hear... Or the personality, and that stuff is fine. It does move the needle, but I don't think it grows the game after a while. It just doesn't I to me. I think that the women commentaries or commentators on ESPN who played in the league or played college basketball or what have you, they are trying to talk basketball. But what's the reason we're even talking WNBA at all, Rob, are the storylines. Right. But I disagree with you in that. I, I do think that's good for the league. And, Rob, that first of all, that's how, I mean, football people are just into. But we know what what blew the NFL up, Rob, the gambling, fantasy football and all that. that, right? that that's what changed the NFL. Right. That's that where they ago. went from being second to baseball 
to becoming the most popular because people sport by people a mile don't people the, don't in, remember in when uh, the NFL was taken off of uh, Monday Night Football on ABC. Like people right. people act like that didn't happen. And, right. and Monday Night Raw used to get better ratings. Monday Night Raw, Chris, used to get better ratings than Monday right. Night Football. Like and like, then when fantasy football, football it changed in, everything. Yep, it totally yep. changed it. And again, that had nothing to do with the X's and O's. That was but people just gambling. And I, I, Rob, you know we're we're sports writers. Storylines are what people are interested in. We always are looking for the human element of it. And I, I do think that I, I get what you're saying. Well, I'm just it's saying completely true, right? But that that's what people that's what draws people. When baseball, Rob, you know, obviously they don't get the coverage they used to get. And what if they tried to do to counter that? Make baseball fun again. The uh, the times we talk, like on the national scene, Rob, that people are really talking about baseball as far as talk shows on radio and TV is generally it was Otani and the bet, you know, the gambling scandal. But, or, but I'll say so, this: you know, it's some Na- type nationally, of not locally, personality story, not locally. No, locally, people they talk, talk about, about the, it. They right. talk about the game, the X's and O's, and all I'm saying, right. Chris, is but I'm talking about nationally, right? At some point. You got to talk about the game, like like I get it now, and that they're jealous. How how at some point the game has to be a factor as well. Even in the NFL, where you have these great storylines, it's about who won and who played well and who didn't play well, right. and you got to have some of that. And I'm just saying, I don't feel that. I don't feel like I'm getting any of that. And you're right, some of the female. Uh, they're trying, they're trying, but, it's but it, to no it's, avail to right, some degree, right? Because right, right. that's just not the conversation so, right, that they want to have like, on look, those shows, we, <laughs> right? Nobody's but, trying to break down a W, the no. fever and what they what they did, and they couldn't get open for threes or whatever right, it was. Right. Like, what defense was that? <laughs> but Rob, I mean, again, and, and, and I'm, I know I'm kind of limiting it to national TV right, talk shows right. and radio talk shows because you're right, locally. Baseball they'll break, talked they'll about break down the, a, the whole game for two absolutely, hours on absolutely. a local station, right? No doubt. Um, but the WNBA, Rob, we never talked WNBA. No, you we right. Have never, never talked WNBA. I until told Steve the second when he gave a WNBA update score. I was like, "Well, I've been here six, seven years. I never remember oh, him no. giving a score." And that's where I think what the league needs to recognize. Look, I agree, and I think that. The league and the players in the league, Rob, outside of and, and to be honest, I think even Caitlin Clark feels like this way. I'm sure they are tired of all you're talking about are the the rivalries or the personality conflict, the catty stuff, or, right? Right, the resentment. And I and I will say this, Rob, too. Even though it happens in men's sports as well, we've talked about that. Jordan getting iced out of the game. LeBron's teammates when he was a rookie thinking. It's still their team. And, you know, things like that happen. We talked about Lonzo Ball, Patrick Beverly picking him up full court and making it tough on him. But there is some element, Ryan. Let me, I want your thoughts on this. And this, I think, probably upsets the women as well, even though I have not heard a woman say this. Some of this does play in the female stereotypes. And that might be why they get so mad. When people say they're jealous, right? Clearly, they they Nicholas. I mean, what? That, but I it know looks what you like mean, jealous. right? That's what it feels like, just, right. right? But to them, they probably feel like, well, that's that's a female stereotype yep. or resentment. Oh, you you know, it's you're playing us up like we're just it's cat fighting, right? You know, between right. girls and all that. And I get that, and I understand them feeling that way. I could be wrong, Rob, but I think the hope for the WNBA. Should be look. We understand they're only tuning in for Caitlyn number one, or if she's got a rivalry, or there's some other unsur- some surly storyline. But the hope is that people will tune in for those reasons, or and then see other good players, see other good you know basketball being played, and then really start getting into that's the what league. I'm, that's what I'm and, saying, you know, Chris. One hundred percent. That's what they hope. I'm sure it's got to it be a but, little bit more of that. So that we can feel like like I'm watching something that I want to see. After a while, I can tune out and I can I don't have to watch the games to get the caddy stuff to right. get that. You can watch I, days of your, our lives if you want. Uh, right, <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Man. No, I mean, I, I, I is hear that still you. on? Is that uh, soap opera still I, those on? Those things, man, those things never die. Rob G, you, the, the, you the watch soap operas? Soap no? operas never die. I know they've been on. I far haven't up. seen one. I mean, now that I'm work, you know, I never saw. Them, but as a kid, my mom watched them, and during the summer, I'd see them. Right, and you, you know? know what? And and, and uh, a lot of there were a lot of sports writers who watched them too, Chris, because you know we work at night covering games. Guys, so did, God, really? yeah, like I remember. Curtis Bond. Stephen A's big into Yeah, him. Stephen General A, Hospital. Curtis Bond, uh, who used well, to cover Orton, the Knicks. General Hospital, right. Yeah. Yep. But but really? I remember Curtis was that because during the day, you know what I mean? You'd have lunch, you'd yeah, be in yeah, your hotel yeah, before yeah. you would go to the ballpark or right. go to the arena. Right, right. No, but um yeah, I Rob, I Rob I G's think... Rob G's dad did it. Same thing. He said he said he watched all of them, right? Really? He would call me like we call once a week. He'd be like, "Hey, trip out on what happened on this episode." So this guy's <laughs> sleeping with his sister. He doesn't know that he's been dead for six right. months. And so it's like, "Wait, what?" Back up. Did you say he was crazy. dead and they been crazy. sleeping together? Those stories like, yes. are crazy, right? Oh my gosh, nuts, nuts. But um, yeah, I you know the interesting thing, Rob. I don't know though. I mean, I do think with Caitlin Clark, if she becomes a bona fide superstar in the WNBA as far as a player. She's already a celebrity and, and, you know, arguably a superstar as far as just popularity. But if she becomes like this phenomenal player in the pros as she did in college, I do think pe people will tune in for her and I do think a rising tide will um, lift all, sh all sh boats. But um, she got to do it. And Rob, the thing is this, and you know we hold, when it gets to the pros, we hold people to this. She's got to win. And Rob, she never won a national championship in college. And I'm not saying she's not a winner. I'm just pointing out the facts. She never won a national championship in college. And Rob, in high school, you know I went to the same high school she went to. That's crazy. They never won a state championship. And, and she was amazing, obviously. And they never won the state championship. So she's going to have to not only get here to the WNBA and put up numbers, but, Rob, she's going to have to win. And if she does do that, I do think she can spark popularity around the league.